Hey, what's up? Uh, my name's Francesca Gabri. If you don't know how to say my name, now you know. Yeah, welcome back to my channel. So I never really do serious introductions, but today is a very serious video. It's a what's in my backpack back to school edition. You know, online school is a very different ball game than real school. But, you know, I've kind of adapted and figured out a little system. These are the things that I will be using to get me through the online school year. Okay, so the first thing, you gotta start with the backpack. So, you know, you're thinking, oh my god, I'm just another generic girl with a cogan. Well, maybe. First of all, this backpack is Winnie the Pooh colored. And second of all, um, this fox is sending all the good vibes. Like, all the good vibes this year. I'm going to need it from this little buddy. And then in the bottom, you know, you have some fun little patches. You have Spider-Man, this record player with no vinyl. Not because, not because it fell off, but because I intentionally took it out. A mermaid's ass. The up balloons, because you know, it's only gonna go up from here. Obviously my computer, because it's online school time, baby. Fun fact about my computer, it doesn't close all the way. Um, which kind of represents how I can never shut the fuck up sometimes. Now we just had summer break and I know some people use it to be more productive than other people but I think we can all agree that, you know, before stepping into the school year we need a little bit of a warm-up so I decided to pack some little warm-up books to help ease me into all the intensive reading we're gonna do this year. I really hope my English teacher is proud of me for that. The first book I packed is Junie B, first grader at last. I'm actually going into my senior year of high school, but for all kids at heart, it's just a relatable classic. This also is a great way to get back into the school spirit. Cause you know, Junie B is going back to school. So might as well go back to school with her. You know what I'm saying? After that, I slumped in my seat and I put my head on my desk. If that doesn't define 2020, I don't really know what does. I know our English teacher is probably going to give us some Shakespeare this year, but this could be an effective precursor into it. I also packed um, an American Girl Smart Girl's Guide to Liking Herself Even on the Bad Days. Um, I am neither smart nor someone who likes myself on the bad days, which is why I decided I kind of need this book, you know. It has very important family values like gabbing. There's no one thought something something important to gab on a good day. So if anyone wants to gab with me, let's fucking go. Finally, I packed this Gordon Ramsay's home cooking book. And I know what you're thinking, like, how is that even related to your academics? Gordon Ramsay is a very tough man, you know, he's very into the whole discipline thing. Little secret, I kind of need to discipline myself in doing schoolwork as well. So I figured he could radiate his spirit onto the rest of my school supplies to help me get more discipline in school. Another back to school staple is the pencil case. I'm not thinking, what supplies do you have in there? Let me tell you. God. One of the stand-on features of my pencil case is this little Spider-Man keychain. I didn't want to make this little buddy lonely, so I got him a friend. This Minnie Mouse back scratcher. Her boyfriend basically owns Spider-Man now anyway. It can be like a head scratcher. Like if I have any hard problems, let's do like. <laughs> Imagine that actually happening. POV, POV time. You're sitting there in your Zoom, you know, just chilling. And then <laughs> Like that one bitch in the corner. <laughs> Another thing in my back to school backpack is this can of broccoli because broccoli is a really healthy food for you and it's just, you know, on the go. Just like take a bite. Oh my god. Another really exciting and fun diet. Another really ex <laughs> why is it so bad? Another really exciting, fun dietary staple is this milk and this milk. <laughs> this is a really old joke. <laughs> this TI eighty four plus CE calculator. It is a group for use on following exams, like PISA, SAT, ACT, 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 and SAMS, and it's free on the IB exam, which is what I am taking. I don't know if I'll be able to take it this year because of the situation, but we'll see. You know, you can customize your learning with the graphing calculator applications, even though I barely know how to use those. And the addition of applications extends the functionality of the calculator, only the performance of math and science functions, and 
can't even understand your concepts. Boom. I also decided to make some fun little drawings. Now all the things on this cover are the cornerstones of my 8th grade existence, such as my old poo and the snub, which Isis knows exactly what this is. Okay. Here's a little fun fact about me. Uh, we were actually encouraged to do summer study and some people did not follow said advice. And some people are going to have to do a little bit of review uh, three days before school starts. So someone's going to really need their junior year 500 pound binder. Wish me luck. In my backpack, I also have this whole ass ukulele. One of the fun things about doing school at home is that there's no one to judge you. If you bring a ukulele to school, I'm really sorry, but that's kind of social suicide. You don't want to look like that one eighth grader, but because we're doing online school, I can put my ukulele in my backpack and do whatever the fuck I want. You're welcome. One of the best things in my backpack this year is also this huge blanket. You can't really bring a blanket to school, but when it's your own home, you can just like, you know, cozy up from the extreme chill that is senioritis online. I also added this fun little hoodie from Disneyland to remind myself of all the places I'd really rather be. If you want to complete this little set, this Eeyore stuffed animal pillow thing, if I want to get really, really cozy and no one on Zoom can stop me. Fun fact about this Eeyore toy, I actually got it from London and everyone was judging me because they thought I just bought some Eeyore toy that I'd never use. But guess what? It's a year later. And Eeyore's my best friend now, so take that. Big part of the back to school community is, you know, the aesthetics of everything. So everyone wants to like glow up for back to school, you know, get new cute stuff for back to school. But um, if I'm being honest with you, I genuinely don't see the point this year. Cause you know, it's Zoom and it's gonna be crappy SD quality anyway. But just in case, you know, I got a headband, look cute for the Zoom, you know. That instantly steps up your look by 10 to the 10th power. You just <laughs> gotta keep the headband on, you know, look for your crush, when you zoom crush. I don't know how you're gonna make any crushes this year. Mm -mm. You know, at the bottom you're in sweats. You know, you got your Walt Disney hoodie on, but then on the top, little headband. Changes the game! My backpack also has this flower vase thing uh, for a little bit of spice, a little bit of aesthetic decoration, you know? And um, now we get on to the simple essentials, you know? You got tissue, because if you ever want to cry from stress and confusion because online learning, then all you have to do is get this and, you know, cry on it. So that's fun. Mm -hmm. Lastly, I have a thing of bleach, bleach for when it all gets too much, you know? All you gotta do is you open your eyes really wide and you just Okay, it's all clean now. So, I hope this helped give you some ideas on, you know, the kind of stuff you can put in your backpack this year. Um, yeah. I hope you liked it. <laughs> I hope this year is okay for you, even if it's gonna be kind of tricky. Hopefully, you still have a good one. Just sending you all the love, all the best wishes, all the best intentions. It goes right to you. Oh my god, remember when that was like, you, okay. okay. Hopefully you'll be able to focus. Hopefully you can fo Hopefully you can focus this year in class, like my camera and the camera's owner. I know it's a difficult time, but hopefully we can all get through somehow. But thank you for sitting until the end of the video. That's really nice of you. Hopefully, why am I so, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, hopefully you enjoy the next one.